good morning, Tuesday morning, heading now to Herzliya to prove for the day. But first, I have breakfast with Chuck Robbins, the global CEO of Cisco. That's going to be nuts. Following that, I have a couple of meetings. Lunch with Singbento, a company that was recently acquired that was on the vlog a couple of weeks ago in a very spontaneous meeting after I met with Orit Hashai from Brayola on the way out in the hallway. I met these guys, and we set to meet lunch to meet for lunch today so that's gonna be really interesting and uh yeah a lot going on with proof so all in all it's gonna be a great day it's gonna bring the drone but decided against it too many meetings let's do this Drop my stuff off at Prove. Now I'm heading to the Ritz here in Herzliya to uh, breakfast with the CEO of Cisco. No idea how many people are gonna be there. Truth is, I was asked by the Cisco team to give some support on social, but now I just got an email that their comms team is a little bit holding back on that for reasons I can't disclose. But uh, either way, excited to meet uh, the CEO of Cisco and the local Cisco team. Super excited about that. It was worth leaving my house at 6 a.m. Now off to the Ritz, one of my favorite hotels, and the place where Herbert Samuel, my favorite restaurant in Israel is. Not gonna be eating steak at 7 a.m., but I'm tempted. We are here bright and early, and I'm walking through the Ritz-Carlton, and I hear fold. <laughs> so I've been following this guy for a really long time, I gotta tell you, from literally, from, I think from, from day one when you launched the company, and you're one of those, you're one of those companies in Israel. I'm gonna tell you what people, what people think. You're one of those companies in Israel that's kind of like, I don't know what to call it, like one of these magical, like black boxes, you know, like nobody really knows what is going on with this company. Everyone's heard of it. Everyone's heard of, like, when you say battery technology, first thing anyone says, store it out. But not many people really know the depth, including me, by the way. But I've been following, and I really want to know everything. But let's just start with, who are you? Doron, Maestov. You're the CEO of StoreDot. CEO, yeah, co-founder. Okay, yeah. what is StoreDot? StoreDot uh, is doing materials. Uh, it's material science, chemistry. Uh, we have today about 30 PhDs that are synthesizing new materials uh, with the goal to uh, really change the world of energy storage, namely batteries for smartphones, for cars, that uh, the focus is to charge in, in a couple of minutes. So, again, from my basic understanding of StoreDot, you know, it's not just car, it's all kinds of batteries, mm -hmm. and you can charge in seconds. Right. Potentially you can charge in seconds. The reason we are not commercializing seconds is the size of the charger. Uh -huh. Like for a smartphone, you would need a big brick uh, to charge the phone. I got it. Okay. All right. Cool. So, I mean, the, the bottom line is like this, right? You know, as an entrepreneur who's been an entrepreneur longer than I probably knew what the word entrepreneur meant, I'm assuming you know that the biggest challenge isn't necessarily building a technology, building a product. The biggest challenge is building something that people need, a pain point that people have. Right. Today, in our lives with this thing, the biggest pain point, hands down, and I think every single person you'd ask in this room would agree to this without any debate, battery technology. Quite frankly, it sucks. It hasn't, it hasn't evolved, it hasn't changed, it hasn't just moved in forever. And in fact, one might say it's even gone in the opposite direction. Not really, but if you look at the old phones, they lasted weeks, and now these things last a day, maybe. So there's a real need. Everyone, every consumer needs better battery technology. Um, and you guys, so smartphones is, is chump changed. I mean, the big, the big thing here is, you know, cars, right? right. So tell me about right, that a little exactly. bit. Exactly. So in the cars, uh, it's really a market maker. Where in the phone, it's a, it's a very nice to have feature, and right. everybody wants it and think it will change their life. But the business of electric vehicle is still nascent. It's still not there. Right. And the reason it's not there is is because you cannot charge. You need to charge overnight, or there's not uh, right. enough charging stations and so forth. So uh, what we thought is that if we can bring the technology that was originally de developed for the smartphone and uh, somehow bring it into the world of electric vehicle, this will really be a market maker. So I have two things to say to you. Number one, where were you in the days of Better Place? Where were you? We needed you. Not uh, we, I wasn't involved in Better Place. But more importantly, I think the, the question that everyone's thinking here is, when, when is Elon Musk gonna, gonna work with you guys? That's, what I, that's all I want to know. <laughs> so, you know, the, the goal of most of the industry, including Elon, by the way, mm -hmm. is to uh, really improve the energy density. So right. he wants to give you 400 miles instead of 300 miles. Uh, what Stolot is doing is actually giving up some of the energy. There is some trade-off, but we want to give it to you in minutes. Ah, so, you know, why wouldn't you want to have an electric vehicle? It's, uh, you know, it's cleaner, it's twice more efficient. And faster. It's faster. It's, the whole experience is, is, is much nicer. It's yeah. cleaner. It's, it's more you, elegant. You feel like you are 
actually helping the environment right. when you're driving right. such right. a vehicle. It's true. So, so once the, the ease of charging will also be there, then, you know, there'll be the hockey stick of, of electric vehicles. Right. Have you experienced a Model X? Have you ever driven in a Model X? I did, yes. It's an amazing, especially the insane mode, right? Unbelievable. Then, then, you know, it's yeah. just unbelievable. That, that, I mean, the Model X, specifically the SUV, but also the Model S. I mean, they're just crazy cars. Yeah. In any case, um, so tell me just a little bit about the company. How many people work in the company? How big are you? So we are 85 people. As I mentioned, uh, many of them are with the PhDs. Uh, the rest are also masters, well, engineers. White robes. White robes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the half of our office space is a lab. Uh, you know, we, we are next to WeWork, so, uh, you know. Herzliya. Right. That's Elia, uh, and um, really, it took us a long time to really assemble, you know, top talent. Uh, these are people from universities from all over the world. You know, from MIT, Berkeley, from London, from Moscow. Um, you raised a lot of money. A lot. We need more. Right. How much did you raise? <laughs> we raised about 110. That's a lot of money. Yes. I think, objectively speaking, 110 million dollars is yeah, a lot of money. But, but more important than the amount mm -hmm. are your investors. You have some big names on board. Right. Who are your investors? Yeah. So we started with Samsung, and then we had uh, Roman Abramovich, and then uh, you know some Israeli names also, uh, uh, Leon Kanati, uh, Steph Wertheimer, uh, these guys. The last uh, round was led by Daimler, and just a couple of days ago we announced that. Partnership and investment from TDK. I didn't hear that. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a press release. I'm not doing my job if I didn't hear that. Yeah, well, you're too busy. A few days ago, literally? Yeah. Oh, like, so that's yeah, okay. Yeah, so on, Thursday, on Thursday. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. On, thir on Thursday, today's yeah. Tuesday. Oh, so it was literally a few days. Okay, so all right. So I don't, I'm not so mad at myself for missing that. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. So 110, you said? Yes. Unbelievable. And, and uh, I don't, you can, we can say, you can say you don't want to talk about this, but is the company valuation public information? No, but you can assume that, you know, a company that raised a, uh, roughly 100 million is not worth 200 million. Right, of course. So a couple of hundred million dollars. So you're the next unicorn is what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Listen, uh, like I said, I've been a fan. I've been watching this thing. I, this this meeting does not count. I have to come to the labs and see this thing work because if you could charge my phone fast, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm bringing a sleeping bag. I'm, I'm just moving in. We'll have to change your battery, right? <laughs> and we'll have to uh, do some modifications on the power management. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we won't do it to your phone, but we can show you other phones. Are you... Maybe this is something we shouldn't talk about on camera. We can talk about this off camera. But I'll ask, and you can feel free to ignore this question. But are you in touch with PowerMat? PowerMat uh, is not that relevant for us because, by definition, anything that is not connected, hardwired, is going to charge slow. Right. But the question is, and maybe I'm maybe I'm dreaming here, but somehow if they can adopt your technology, because they're everywhere, right? They're in the iPhone. They're in Starbucks. Right. They're everywhere. Right. Right. I feel like it's. I mean, they're 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 here. Yeah. You know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you thought about it already, and, and no, we thought the idea. we did talk to them. And Many times, uh, uh, it's like uh, you know, completing industries. Uh, we are not oh, competing; okay. we are completing each other. Um, because their investor is one of my favorite people. You know, Ari Mergi from mm -hmm. M Systems. Of course, yeah, amazing, amazing. he's a good friend. Oh yeah, uh, oh, we we'll okay. go way back. Uh, of course, you. Of course, uh, you go way back. I was a VP at M Systems, right? You were? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, good Operations idea. and technology. I did not know that. Do you know JJ Sussman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, mm -hmm. he's a good friend. Amazing. It's a small ecosystem in this country. That's that's what's amazing about it. Even though, despite the fact that we're exploding in technology, it's it's pretty small. Mm -hmm. It's pretty it's pretty amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this thing off because I want to talk about things we can't talk about on camera but I appreciate you know the time and listen this does not count I gotta to come to the labs absolutely and it goes without saying if I can help with anything at all I'm a big fan really and uh, yeah let's continue the conversation great Thanks, man. good luck with everything thank you the man has arrived all right the event just ended heading back to prove now I mean when you hear the CEO of Cisco speak, you understand what it means to be the CEO of a company like Cisco. Like, I mean, a gi giant. Unbelievable insights, unbelievable sharpness, unbelievable amount of knowledge. Anyway, it was a cool event. Unfortunately, I was told by the marketing team, who originally called me to make some noise about the event, not to make some noise about the event, so I wasn't allowed to record most of his talk, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. He did talk about Israel being its second most important market outside of the US in terms of M&A acquisitions and stuff. That was pretty cool, but it was, it all in all was a pretty cool event. Seems like a brilliant dude. And now back to prove. Interesting turn of events. My friend Jeremy Wimfeimer saw my Facebook post that I was at the Ritz this morning. Turns out he does their PR. He just spoke to the uh, manager here and she told me to come by and sit with her. Hopefully get her on camera, maybe meet the GM of the hotel. The Ritz in Herzliya is definitely my favorite hotel in Israel. Love this place. 
So I kind of love the internet. So I was here this morning meeting the CEO of Cisco, and it turns out that my good friends, Dina and Jeremy Wimfeimer, do the PR for this hotel. And they said, why don't you go back to the hotel and meet this lovely woman? Who are you? I'm Tal, Tal, Tal. Koresh, and You're... I'm the uh, PR manager of the hotel. Okay, so I, of course, jumped at the opportunity to meet Tal because, again, as I've said many times, I love this hotel. Literally, like, the nicest hotel in Israel. I love it. And behind me is Herbert Samuel, the best restaurant in Israel. Just a big fan. And so we just sat. And we schmoozed. That means talked in Yiddish. And yeah, I mean, just tell me a little bit about, like, in two minutes, because my next meeting is here and I don't want to make him wait, but two minutes. What is the story? What is the Ritz? Give me some background here. How long has it been around? Who's, just give me a little, a little information on the hotel. Well, the Ritz Carlton Herzliya just celebrates four years now. Four? Yes, wow. in December. So, uh, and as you said, we have the amazing Herbert Samuel restaurant. We have an exclusive spa. Wow. Of course, uh, we have 187 rooms in the hotel. That's a lot. Of them, yeah. Uh, actually, 197, but we have around 80 suites. All kind of different suites. We have one bedroom, two bedroom, penthouse, duplex. And the views Amazing. here are and the view. magnificent. Yeah, you can look around. And We're going to look around. The, yeah, <laughs> on the view. But the the rooms are very big and very comfortable. And of course, the Ritz Carlton the service brand. and the brand. Yeah. And I think all in all, it's uh, can really say it. But it's the best hotel in this room. You're not objective, but I can yeah, say that. It's now. <laughs> no, it really is. It's definitely the, like the premium. Like this is the bar. Like this sets the bar. It's unbelievable. I'm not just saying that because I've said it before. By the way, they know that. I, I talk about the Ritz all the time. Anyway, listen, the bottom line is, as I said to you, I'd love to help in any way. Jeremy, thank you for introducing us. We're, this is just, I'd say, the kickoff meeting. We're going to continue this conversation for sure. Sure. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to I'm going to try to convince my lunch meeting. I was supposed to meet at Bistro to come here and eat of here. Of course you will. To, but the thing is, with startups, they have a burn rate. And the, this, is a, this is a pricey place. You have to, like, to keep the burn rate down. And it's not that pricey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's know. worth it. The steak is. It like, is. All it right. Is. Go do your work. It was fantastic to meet thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to collaborating and just thank kind you. of letting the world know about this. Place. It's really awesome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank as you as very a hotel much. and as you, an individual. Thank it's great much. to meet you. Thanks Good again, Jeremy. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Herbert Samuel trying to find me a table. This place is jammed. The best steak in the country. Hands down. My favorite appetizer in this place, maybe in Israel, is the beef tartare, but they don't have it in the afternoon. But these guys hooked me up. We have uh, beef tartare with uh, relish, it's uh, capers and mini cucumbers, pickles, yeah. cornichons, rate potato, chips, and aioli. Very classy. This one is a uh, tomato salad. Tomato salad. Mixed tomatoes. Amazing. Tasty. I love it. Everything is fresh. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, enjoy. So they're bringing over like a 45 ounce prime rib aged for 40 days steak. The thing here is absolute heaven. Look at this. I think it is fair to say that we are in absolute food coma right now. How is that, how is that steak? Oh, there are children watching, man. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Beep that out, Joseph. P PG-13. No, it was ridiculous. a good steak. It was ridiculous. Good. It was ridiculous. I mean, listen, there's no, there's no, like you said before, it's good. You can eat well and be, and be religious. Because, I don't know, I've never eaten non-kosher steak. I would imagine putting butter on steak tastes amazing. But out of the kosher steaks it actually, had, It actually tasted like it, it had that butter Yeah, it's true. It. It out of the kosher good. steaks, it's, this is, like, top-notch. Amazing. Herbert Samuel is the, the bomb. Okay, so I've been following your company. I think the first time I heard of your company was probably, I would say, maybe two years ago that makes sense when mm -hmm. I came to visit all right so who are you what do you do what's your story give me the background well um, we're segmento we were who are founded you? I'm Yoav Moore that's more and important. I'm the founder of one of the founders of segmento together with uh, Izzy Cohen and my brother Yonatan uh, we founded a company three years ago beginning of 2015 our goal was to automate the process of uh, creating uh, aggregating collecting uh, um, product information uh, to help retailers basically post uh, their products for, for less money and... So let me dumb this down a little bit. Sorry to interrupt you, man. No, no. That's all good. Let me dumb this down a little bit. No one, I mean, I shouldn't say no one, but obviously e-commerce, online shopping is big. That's the, no one, that's no, not debatable. That's no one, no one can debate that. The process by which me, as a retailer, 
takes all my inventory and puts it on the internet, if I'm mm. oversimplifying, is way too complicated. It's not that it's complicated, it's more that it, it, it's very time consuming and expensive. Right, okay, that's that's a fair correction, I stand corrected. Not complicated, it's not hard to do, it just takes forever. Yeah. And it shouldn't take forever. We're in 2018, why is this not an automated process? Sure. We, have we have technology, we have AI, we have all the machine learning, all kinds of uh, image yeah. recognition, all kinds of crazy stuff. Why does this take so long? Comes Segmento and says, wait a second, we can automate many, many parts, many elements, many components right. of this process. So what do you do exactly? Well, for First of all, when we started, a lot of people didn't believe we can even achieve this goal. Okay. Uh, investors didn't want to touch it, they thought it's too risky. At the end of the day, the main challenge that, that uh, this industry had is to get accurate information, uh, which is also not copied. Now, when we talk about copied information, um, some information can, can be copied. Obviously, if a phone is black, it's black. Uh, there's no... Um, right, you can't unique, that. Yeah, exactly. But, but we're talking more about titles, descriptions, uh, you know, marketing stuff. So that's something that obviously has to be unique retailer. All right. But all the structured information is something we call technical information. That That is not copied and that could definitely be uh, automated. You know, a few companies tried uh, to do kind of like hybrid solutions before us. When we started, there weren't a lot of companies out there. And we thought, you know what, this is a great idea and it's not just something that we, we just, uh, you know, came up with. It's something that we actually touched before we did segment a little bit before that I was actually doing this job manually and, and the idea came from there so I was working for for e-commerce uh, company uh, selling mainly uh, watches and I had to actually go item by item and ridiculous. write to all the information collected from different sites ridiculous yeah absolutely ridiculous. absolutely okay, so Segmento uh, automates what part of the process exactly what does the actual product do? collect collecting all the information and structuring it into uh, one page okay so you guys you know in the grand scheme of things I would say didn't raise a lot of money you raised over a million and a half dollars. Is that yeah. okay? We talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Say that. Okay. And so, you know, I'd say you were on the on the spectrum of startups, relatively young, mm -hmm. when you had a little bit of a significant event. You guys were acquired. Right. So you were acquired how long ago? In, in October. So about six months ago. Six months ago. And is the is the amount disclosed? Do you talk about that, or it's not out there? It's not out there. Quite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your three co-founders. You exited the company to to who? Who bought it? Um, an amazing company called Akinio. It's a French company. They're more of a, they're a PIM. So PIM for whoever doesn't know is a product information management system. They're the actual container of the information. Uh, they gather all the information from different suppliers and help the retailer. Uh, sends it to different channels such as um, e-commerce or print and and they make the workflow a lot uh, easier. How do they even find you? Um, you guys didn't do of, any marketing at all. Right, right. We didn't do much. Uh, one of their founders is uh, Yoav Kutner. He's an Israeli guy. Uh, was the founder of uh, Magento before. A commerce god. Yeah. Kind of, okay. uh, and he got in in touch um, through I'm not sure who to one of my partners, Izzy, okay. and they started talking, and from there everything started rolling. I love it. This is yeah. like a Cinderella story, man. Sort of, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I actually came here one day after my wedding. I had to run from. Uh, I was actually sleeping here, and I had to run to uh, um, to the office to meet them. Oh yeah, uh, right after my wedding. Yeah. Awesome. All right, cool. listen. The bottom line is this is a really cool story, very unique story. I haven't heard many stories like this. Uh, and you're you're staying with this company for. for for many years, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. And you're doing, you're just, you know, like I said to you before, are you enjoying the, the are you sitting on a, on a beach with a pina colada? You're, you're not, you're hustling. Not really, yeah. You're doing your thing, you go back to work the next day and you keep working. Yeah. Uh, how do people, first of all, what's the website? How do people hear about the company, learn about the company? Uh, website is uh, segmento.com. Soon enough, uh, we'll launch a new product called pim.ai. Is that public information? Uh, it's, it's public information. Uh, you can go on pim.ai and see. Uh, P-I? P-I-M.ai. .ai, okay. Yeah. You can uh, get some information and there. It's segmento with an I, right? Segmento with an I. Dot yeah, com. Dot com. Okay, and, and a, yeah. Sorry. And uh, sorry, the company that acquired us, Akino, A K E N E O. Dot com. I K E A K E A K A K E N E O. Yeah, love it. Dot com. Dot com. Love it. All right, and last question, and you can tell me if you want to give this out or not. But if somebody is in the commerce space and they could either partner with you, or they want to seek your advice, or they want to help in some way, or whatever, they just want to be in touch with you. How do people contact you? Best to contact me either through LinkedIn or email. It's uh, yoav.maor at akinio.com. Yoav, Y-O-A-V dot M-A-O-R. Yep. At? 
Aquino. Aquino.com. Yeah. Love it, man. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you for that lunch. That was outrageous. Nah, thank you for picking that steak. That yeah, was great. By the way, because we were supposed to eat somewhere else. And uh, yeah. I like Bistro. Bistro 56 is okay, but this place is... No, this place is amazing. So, uh, yeah, but listen, the bottom line is, you know, as I said to you before, you let me know. I can help. I, you know, I love the story. I've been following the company. Very Absolutely. cool stuff. And uh, it's like, a, you know, it's like kind of one of those things where you're like, how has no one done this before you? Like, it's so needed. I, that's what I ask myself many times. Before. Love it, man. Well, All good right, luck with everything. You. And thanks thank again. You. And looking forward to our thank next you. meeting, man. Thanks. I made it home. Great day. Tomorrow, I'm going to be at Google all day mentoring startups. And then, I-24. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. See you then.